Good morning. It's a bit of a challenge day today. Sunscreen. Recently, someone showed me a reel that popped up on their Instagram reels tab. And it was this girl who tried to walk 100,000 steps in a whole day. And I was like, wow, that is cool. Like, that's a lot of steps. But that also sounds kind of like a fun challenge and like something I'd be totally into, right? And so I was thinking, like, Morgan, I don't, I don't know if you could do 100,000. Right? Like, that, 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 that's a lot. So, today, we are seeing how 50,000 feels. <laughs> I googled it and it said approximately 8 hours of walking. I do not walk 8 hours a day. Regardless, I think it's a perfect challenge for me and so we are gonna do it. And you are coming with. First things first, <laughs> we're walking the pup. <laughs> Obviously this challenge would be best with an Apple Watch, but I actually sold mine because I stopped using it. I was literally thinking about ordering like a pedometer, one of those things, and like putting it in my pants. But I was like, you know what Morgan, you're fine. The health app on your iPhone is actually pretty good. And today I'm wearing leggings with pockets in them. So, I'm just going to make sure my phone is always in my pocket so that it can best track it. Just from running around and getting ready, it says apparently I've taken 133 steps so far. If you can see, like, 6 a.m. is right here and then, you know, after that. Let's keep it going and let's start walking 50,000 steps in one day. Are you ready? Let's go. Come on, Dunks. Good boy. Headphones on. Bluetooth. Connected. Podcast. Let's do it. The sun feels great. Good morning. Happy walk day. He loves when we get to this point in the loop when it's like the paved sidewalk. He just like takes the lead. He's like ready to, oh yeah, there he goes. We are back, but the pup can only go so far. You're not his young age, so I'm eating something. And I'm gonna do bone broth because the next place I'm gonna walk should take me like an hour and a half one way I don't know how many miles. I'll have to look that up I think it's like over four round trip, but that's too far for him homestyle bone broth by dr. Kellyanne That's really good. All right, I'm fueled dog had exercise and now to leave again I'm gonna go walk to get some coffee Not gonna lie, I wanted to wake up earlier than I did today. I set an alarm for like six, but it was like super dark out. So I was like, I don't wanna get the day started and go walking around if it's really dark out, you know? Like, I wouldn't do that at night. I don't wanna do that in the morning, I don't know. So then I waited closer to sunrise. I probably got out and started walking around 7.30 maybe. And right now, it's 8.55. I started my second podcast of the day. But something I do have to keep in mind is that the sun is setting earlier and earlier. So I needed to like make sure I was like really active between sunlight hours, because we are getting into that colder weather that being said I also made sure to pick a day that was actually like particularly warm so today it's gonna be like I don't know 65 and we've had a couple 40 and 50 days the past few weeks so it should be a good day for this this is where we're at right now so we still have about 46,000 to go Just got to the building, bathroom break. The line for coffee's so long. I'm in route home. I got a white chocolate mocha. Tis the season. <laughs> I would stay downtown and get in more steps like over there and stuff, but to be honest, my poor dog, you know, I want to get home to him and do more walks with him and stuff. But I got this coffee. I also got a bagel. It's just sliced. It's not like toasted or cream cheese or anything because I am going to eat it when I get home. It's Asiago though. I'm so excited. I've never had their bagels before from there, so I'm just like holding it in my pocket till I get home. But yeah, it's a gorgeous day out. It's now probably around between 10 30 and 11, so it is pretty quiet. Like people aren't in route like going to work going to school whatever and it's not quite lunchtime yet so it's very peaceful it's so sunny and like 60 degrees like it's just so good I'm listening 
listening to Sophia with an F. She has Becca Moore on this episode, and I love Becca Moore. This this is great. Highly recommend. Just got back. My hair is literally matted down to my head. I am honestly so tired. Let's check how many steps I'm at. I need to plug in my headphones, plug in my camera battery. We are at, I'm not even halfway. We're officially at 19,123 and it is 1130. So I've been walking for a while, but I'm tired. I mean, if you think about it, it's only 11.30 in the morning and I've already almost walked 20,000 steps. You know, like that's a lot for your average day. But for me today, it's only half. So. I am so excited for this bagel. There's like cheese all the way through. The best way to eat a bagel, I'm telling you right now, is with loads of cream cheese and like a sandwich. You cannot fight me. Like seriously, this is just how it's done. So good. I love cheese bagels. Oh, I'm gonna eat this, charge my batteries, do some computer work and just chill in my bed. I'll see you in a bit when we go back out. I'm tired. <laughs> okay, we are finally getting back out. It is somewhere between 1.30 and 2, which is definitely later than I thought, but I ended up just you know, doing too much on my computer. Don't like that. But I'm taking the pooch back out. We're gonna drive to this like little park. Made us in coffee. I also changed my clothes if you didn't notice. All right, just parked. We're at this little park area. I'm gonna walk, I think, down there and kind of like up this hill. Well, I don't know. You ready? Are you ready? Just walk kind of like around across the parking lot. Right now we're over 20,000 steps, but that still means we're not even halfway. So we gotta get going here. This is harder than I thought. Okay, let's go. This definitely isn't gonna be my most efficient walk because I have so many things in my hands and he gets distracted. So it's gonna be a slower walk. It really is so pretty over here though. Just like a nice big park. Doggy water break, coffee break. Hi, Dunks. It really smells so bad over here, like animal poop. Okay, um, so the update is that the park that we just went to, it was more of like a play area, like lots of grass and stuff, less like path-y. So I really did not get a lot of steps in. I'm literally only at 23,000 and it's already three o'clock. I am gonna leave him here. I'm gonna go walk and just like go for a few hours. I really need, however, to be drinking some water. I have not been hydrating nearly as much for the amount of walking I'm doing, like that I need to be. My head is kind of hurting from wearing a hat, so I'm gonna switch to headphones and sunglasses instead of a hat. We gotta get out of here. I got a lot of work to do. And not gonna lie, I don't wanna do it. Like, this this is tough. Like, when I saw that girl do 100,000, and I was like, okay, well, I'm only gonna do 50,000. Like, it shouldn't be that bad, right? No, it, uh, it's hard. Uh, it's definitely hard. I'm pretty sure she's also like a big, big fitness girly, and you know, I'm all about the wellness, all about the exercise, but like, I'm just not, I'm, I'm just not as in shape, and that's fine. Officially on a mission. Let's get it. Halfway. Well, I just broke my sunglasses, so I am honestly so tired. It's about 4.15. We have about an hour and a half of daylight left, and I just want to sit down, but I can't. I just stopped by this little mall area to see if I wanted to grab food here, but I actually think we're going to do, like, just eggs and toast, like, kind of like a little breakfast for dinner type thing tonight. So, it is 4.25. I'm about 20, 25 minutes from home. I'm at 30,175 steps. I'm going to walk home, have some dinner. I'm actually super, super thirsty, too, and, like, my fingers are really swollen. Like, I need to hydrate. I just, like, have not been thinking about drinking water, and, like, today is when I need the most water, you know? Let's do it. Just got home, here's the status. Man, we still have 18,000 to go and I am tired if you haven't gotten that. I love the strawberry. Mmm, so good, big liquid IV stand. One glass of liquid IV down, refilled with some water. This looks amazing, I'm so excited. We threw cheese in the egg for some extra and it's just, I'm pumped. Getting in another walk before the sun goes down. Good boy. There's that sun, you can see it. Starting to get lower. Well, there it is. You can see it in the trees. <laughs> All right. Well, it is 6.09 p.m. We did that little walk you saw, and now we're running an errand quick, so I'm getting a little bit of a break off my feet, which is nice because they hurt so bad. Although I'm not done, I definitely have a while to go, but I'm gonna do a good chunk on the treadmill tonight. I am gonna make it, I'm not gonna quit. This isn't gonna be fully done outside. Unfortunately, the daylight is just not a very long range. It'd be different if it was like summer. After this quick errand, we're gonna get ice cream, because why not? And I could use the calories, honestly. I have burned a lot, and I have an intake as much as I should. We are at 36709. It's kind of crazy when you look at how many miles that is. Puts me at 
me at 15.2 miles. The flavor of the day is Oreo Overload, chocolate custard, Oreos, and chocolate syrup. As you can see, it's very dark out, so it is officially time to move to the treadmill. According to my calculations, I have about five and a half miles left. We have just over 13,000 left to go. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, let's check. I honestly can't wait for this to be over. 44754, four, four. just over 5,000 steps to go. I think I need to sit down. This is way harder than I thought it was gonna be. I'm not gonna lie. My feet are like actually kind of on fire right now, but we are pulling through. I'm finishing the challenge. The treadmill started beeping at me, so I took it as a sign. So it put me back at zero. So I guess we're starting fresh. You guys, I just walked a lap and then my dog was like at the door so I went to say hi to him and I returned to the treadmill and I realized I never put my phone back in my pocket. I only probably wasted like a half mile but I'm still so annoyed right now. I mean honestly, I'm lucky that this is the only time all day today I didn't forget to do this but let's resume. I'm getting there. I need to go sit down for like at least five minutes. Okay, I'm hoping that all I need is another half mile and I hit it, which take me about 10 minutes, maybe even less. Two more laps, Morgan, two more laps. Let's check. Oh my God, I'm literally so close. I need 175 more steps. I don't know how long it takes. I'll walk like two more minutes because my body hurts. So when I'm done, I am done. Are you ready? Even almost 100 over. Well, technically I did pass this because I didn't account for all my steps, but I'm done. <laughs> you guys, this challenge was so much harder than I thought. I need to go lay down. Also, the treadmill is so hot. Like, it is just not made to go this long, I swear. This is where I will be for some time. Current thoughts, my feet are on fire. My calves are starting to burn. My back kind of hurts, honestly. My lower stomach is sore. Like, I think just when I walk, I'm like good about like engaging my core and like my stomach is sore, but which is, which is great, you know? But I'm actually just so tired. Like half of this would be a very good day, but all of this, I'm like, I cannot even imagine how that girl did 100,000 steps. Honestly, standing in the shower sounds like such a tough time right now. I don't think I've ever walked this much in one day before, but we did it. Okay, let's talk. It's clearly, the next morning. My body's, you know, in a little bit of pain. Stomach is sore, like I mentioned last night, but which is good, right? Like sore is good. My back kind of hurts and I don't know if it's sore or if it like actually is in pain because I had maybe like some bad posture while walking at some points. My feet, I can still kind of feel it. My calves, my shins, definitely sore. Last night when I was going to bed, I like could not fall asleep at first. I, I fell asleep pretty fast out of that because I was so tired from all that movement. But at first it was almost like behind my knees were hurting. Like it was kind of a weird thing. But yeah, I'm feeling it today. And like my body's still just tired. I'm drained. This was fun though. Like I am happy I did it. I seriously cannot imagine 100,000 steps. It seems insane. And like, I don't know how people perceive 50,000. At first I was like, oh, like I'll be able to do it. Like it'll be hard, but like it won't be that bad. But it I underestimated it, I'll tell you that. I don't know, like I know some people struggle to get 10,000 in, so maybe some people will think that 50,000 is incredible, but maybe some people do like 30,000 on the daily. I don't know, what do you think? Tell me what you think. I'm telling you from my experience, it's not that easy, okay? It's challenging, it's hard. I don't even really wanna do this again. <laughs> I mean, I would like to get in more steps in general, as I'm sure most people do. My phone says my average is about 12,000, but that also doesn't include when I'm on the treadmill because I don't have my phone on me usually when I'm on the treadmill. But it really did feel good to like be outside walking a ton. Well, let me know your thoughts and if you have any other challenges you want me to try. I like doing them. They're fun. This one was kind of a mental game too because like walking itself like physically is not hard. It's just so much and like you do get so tired and it can get boring if you're not keeping yourself entertained. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not and I'll see you in my next one.